everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the books I'm looking forward to in the coming months, the coming year, because it's November, is it? Yeah. I keep on thinking it's December for some reason. We're not there yet. And these are some books I'm looking forward to. You will notice a theme with them in that they're mostly fantasy based and I've been in a real fantasy mood this year. I've read pretty much, oh I don't know the statistics, but quite a lot of fantasy this year. Um, I feel myself growing a little bit out of it again and back into like literary fiction, blah blah blah. I was reading that book I unboxed, what was it called? I can't remember. A Diary of Blood, that's it. I was reading it and I was thinking, I am so bored. But anyway, Whatever, that's not this video. This video is books that I don't know anything about. I mean, books that are coming out soon. Right, so the first book I'm looking forward to is A Fire Endless by Rebecca Ross. And this is the sequel to <laughs> A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. This is my limited edition Aluma Crate version, which is beautiful. What is this book about? Um, that's a good question. I read the blurb before starting this video to prepare myself. So, what this book is about, um, there's some girls that have gone missing in this island in Scotland. I can't see a Scotland. Land of the Scots. It feels like it's set in medieval times, but I'm not sure exactly the time period, but um, yeah, it's in, an interesting setting. The only way to stop these girls from going missing, they think it's some spirits, is to get this musician back on the island because he was like, he was like, bye, I'm gonna study music on the mainland. And they're all like, what? Okay then. And he's a really good musician. He plays the harp, I think it is. Um, and I can't remember the like magic system in this, but I think music is a kind of magic in it. And as a, ma a magician, no, I'm not a magician. As a musician, uh, I really like that concept. But the main thing I like about this is the setting. It's beautiful, it's nature, love it. Um, you can't tell I like nature at all at this angle, but I've got a plant here, look. I like nature. Sure indicator there that somebody likes nature having a plant in their room. Next is, I can't remember, Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. The reason I laugh is because this is also a series, a fantasy series, a sequel, and yeah, something like that, of Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Have I read Ninth House? No, I haven't. But Hellbent is coming out on the 10th of the 1st, 23. Why did I say that so weird? 10th of January of next year. Um, so I need to read heckin' Ninth House before I read that. Uh, I might get it from the library, actually, because I can't stand having a paperback and then a hardback together. That just repulses me. What is Ninth House about? I don't heckin' know, but I know it's very um, hashtag dark academia. When I worked in Waterstones three years ago, it was all, all the hype, hashtag hype. Why am I so irritating? So uh, I have no idea what it's going to be like, but the cover, I mean, just look at the cover. It's just exceptionally creepy and I love it. Okay, next up is, what's the one? I'm gonna try and do it in chronological order. So the next one is Gwen and Art are not in love. So, ever since, what was the name of the book? Oh no, I was gonna make a really interesting observation but I forgot what it was. Oh, that's it. Something is completely fine. Ella, right, okay, start again. Do you remember when Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine came out? I don't care if you know, but the title character is this or isn't this. That started off this whole chain of books where it's like this character is this and I'm just kind of, I don't like those titles, can we just stop doing that? So Gwen and Art are not in love, why am I looking forward to this book when it's these characters are something. Um, because, and, oh man, I just feel bad now. If Lex Crouch is watching this, I'm sorry that the title doesn't swing it for me, but um, I met her at Yalk, and it was really cool. Um, and she signed my books. No, book. She didn't sign books. 
she sold it to me when she did her talk at Yauk. She said, this is a Shrek book. I think this is her Shrek one. I can't remember now. But anyway, anything that gives me Shrek vibes, I'm there for. So I'm looking forward to this one. That's all I know about it, that it might be Shrek vibes. Okay, cool, excellent, let's move on. Next is These Infinite Threads by Tahira Mafi, which is the follow-up book to This Woven Kingdom by Tahira Mafi. This is an exceptionally beautiful edition. <laughs> oh, dearing me. Naked guitar back. The thing is, do I do I get the exclusive Illumicrate edition if they're even still selling it or have sold it? I can't remember now. Because, oh, it's just beautiful, man. So, oh no, now I have to explain what this book is about. So, we follow this girl. There we go, that's what it's about. So, is this kingdom... Oh, why is it called Woven Kingdom? Do they weave magic? I think that's how they, their magic system works. They weave stuff. Yeah, that's right. They, they do this and that's the magic thing. But I can't really remember how it works. Good stuff. So, we follow this girl who is extremely overqualified for her job. Um, she works in the royal households as a maid. Um, there was a reason why she did that as well, but I can't remember what it was once again. Um, and anyway, what happens in this? I don't heckin' remember. Um, it's like a fantasy romance, that's all I'll say. But what even happens at the end of this? God knows, don't know. This is actually a good time to read this book because it has snowy vibes in it. How many times am I going to say vibes in this book? So it'll be interesting to see where it goes once I remember what happens in that one. The next one is A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha, Samantha? No, Samantha Shannon, which is the follow-up book to, what is it? The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. So, you know what's funny about this one? I haven't heckin' read The Priory of the Orange Tree, no, A Priory of an Orange Tree either, but you know what, I'm still looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to having a good time, but again, I might just, oh, should I get it from the library? I might get it from the library again. But I feel like I want these ones. I feel like they're gonna be special to me. So maybe I will buy the paperback and then read it in hardback from the library. And then when it comes out in paperback, I read the paperback. That sounds far too complicated for my brain. Yeah, I don't know what it's about. I know there's dragons in it and that's about it. Uh, to be honest, I'm fully enticed by the book cover, not the plot, because I don't know what the plot is. So, yeah. But I'm still looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to having a good time. February is looking pretty damn good for book releases. The next book is In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune. I've only read one TJ Klune book, which is... Can you just see it? Where is it? It's there. Uh... There. Can you guess what it is? It's the house in the Cerulean Sea. Is it Cerulean or Cerulean? Because I pronounce it Cerulean, but I'm not sure that's how you're supposed to say it. Anyway, I really enjoyed that. It's very much like an adult book, but with a fun, happy kids vibe. Um, vibe, oh my god. I'm just going to quit YouTube now. I hate myself. What's this book about? I don't know. But that damn cover yes please thank you very much i feel like with tj clune books from my extensive knowledge of their books is that the cover kind of summarizes the setting in a very neat way in a very representative way as how one envisages it in the book oh my god i didn't even stutter for like a whole sentence when i look at this cover i'm like yes please I want to live there, thank you. In my head, I, I've come up with a book idea and it's very similar aesthetics to this. So if it's the book I'm thinking in my head that I want to write, I'm gonna be really annoyed, but I'm hoping it's not. And I don't know anything about it. Who are puppets? I don't know. And the last book, why am I doing this? The last book is the Shadow Cabinet by Juno Dawson, which I think comes out the 23rd of May of next year, but I'm not entirely sure, it seems a bit um, confusing with that one, which is the sequel to her, what is this, Her Majesty's Royal Coven by 
Juno Dawson. I just love this cover. Just look at that. That is, oh, and it's a side fast edition I'll have, you know. Uh, I got this when I was away in Bath. Because did you know I went to Bath? Oh, I have a Bath vlog, in fact, if you'd like to watch it. Beautiful. The thing I really like about this book is that it's fantasy, but set in a modern society. So it's set in the present day. No, it's not. It's set in the 80s. But it still feels like it's set in the present day, even though I think it's 80s. So what this follows is a witch, group of witches. There's this whole witch thing going on in England and across the world. Um, but witches are undercover. People don't know that they exist really that much. It's a bit like kind of... I don't want to say the HP, not me, that's my initials, Harry Potter, but you know in Harry Potter where you've got the mundane, no, what do they call them? Oh my god! The, you know, the normal people who aren't magical, and then you've got the magic people, but they're all undercover. There we go. Why did that take me so long to explain? So it's that kind of thing here. And we're following a few different characters, women, mostly in their 30s. Um, navigating this world and one of them is like the leader of the co coven I believe oh my god I don't remember anything but basically there's this oracle that says um, there's going to be a person who <laughs> there's going to be a person who brings destruction to the whole world or something along those lines something very dramatic and out comes this character and people think it might be them but is it then? That's the question. And it follows some really interesting topics, like um, there's trans representation in here. And I think it's very important, this representation and the way that characters react to the character coming out. So I'm looking forward to seeing where it's going. It's very interesting, the morality of people, good versus bad. Um, so yeah we'll see what the shadow cabinet's like um it's i don't think the shadow cabinet is quite as good a title as her majesty's royal coven but you know what whatever i'll accept it so that's what i'm looking forward to it might be quite interesting to do a video a follow-up video to see if i read these and what i think of them because usually i read just the first fantasy book in a series and then i don't read anything else so hopefully I'll actually get my bottom into gear. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you're looking forward to any of these, what you're looking forward to. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>